Do you ever find yourself indecisive on your journey to making your dreams a reality? I mean, are there times that you find yourself stuck not knowing if you're making the right decisions in life? If you're tired of struggling with when to trust your gut or not, then watch this video to learn how to go from indecisive to intuitively guided. By the end of this video, you're going to have three ways to tap into your intuition so that you can manifest your dreams with clarity and peace of mind. One of the things that frequently comes up for my clients in Dream Life Academy when we start working on the aligned action part of the module is the question of how do I know if I'm making the right actions to manifest what I want? I mean, how do I know if I'm doing the right thing? And I 100% understand this dilemma because I myself am a recovering perfectionist and I've had to work hard to develop skills to trust myself and trust what I'm doing is the right thing on my journey to attracting what I want and tuning into the intuition that's going to get me there. The secret is to let your vibe be your guide. <laughs> and if you can imagine tuning into the frequency of your divine vibration, like a radio frequency, and then clearly listening to precise instructions on achieving your dreams, then that is what these tips is going to help you create for your own life, which I am very excited to share. And I want you to be sure to stick around the end because I'm going to give you actionable steps to help you implement this today so you can get started tapping into your intuition today. And if you want daily tips on motivation for your manifestation journey, be sure to follow me on Instagram underscore Tiffany Shelton. Okay, one. So the first way you're going to tap into your intuition is by using your emotions. So if we go back to the imagery of tuning into the frequency of our vibration like a radio, then our emotions are the signals being emanated from that frequency. So that's a lot. So first, let me back up and explain why your vibe is your guide. There's a quote, and I don't want to mess up the name, but by Jadu Krishnamurti that says, intuition is the whispering of the soul. And I love that quote because it supports the wisdom that all of our desires, everything that we want emanates from our inner spirit. And as I teach my clients in my program, Dream Life Academy, our inner spirit sends a signal to let us know if we're on the right track to getting what it is that we want, what we tr our spirit truly wants. So if we're thinking and doing things that are in line with what we want, then our spirit is going to give us positive emotions and you're on the right track. But if we're in a place where either what we're doing or what we're thinking or believing is not bringing us closer to what we want, our spirit is like knocking at us saying we're not on track by sending us negative emotions. So it's always important to align with our inner spirit because that is the place from which our desires come from and what what we what what we want comes from as well and so in order to stay aligned with what we want to pay attention we need to pay attention to our emotions that our spirit is giving us which is our vibe which is just our mood so in knowing this, then we know that paying attention to how we feel is of utmost importance if we want to tap into that intuition. Or in other words, we're going to be letting our vibe be our guide. And it's important to remember that you want to pay attention not only to how you feel emotionally, but also how you feel physically. This is because feelings start as emotions in our gut. So even emotions start as physical sensations. So if you can stay in tune with how you're feeling in your body, as well as start to name emotions that you're feeling throughout the day, this is going to help you stay in tune with your vibration. Again, this is all to help us really understand those signals that are coming from our inner spirit, trying to keep us on track with what it is we so deeply, deeply desire. If you want some extra help staying on track with your goals and your dreams, I want you to know about my Mod Ambition pl Goal Planner that will be launching May 30th. It is infused with techniques like these to help you enjoy your journey to manifesting your dreams. And I'm very, very confident it's going to be use useful really to most people that want a practical tool to manifest using a proven system. Um, it's a modern aesthetic, which I love, and it's designed for ambitious women with big goals. So please, please check it out. You can just go to signup.modambition.com. Okay, again, that's signup.modambition.com. So number two, okay, so the second way to tap into your intuition that I wanna share with you is to connect with your inner spirit. Again, it's all about staying aligned with the guidance from our higher selves, 
that holds our desires and letting that vibe be the guide. So connecting with your inner spirit is going to help you make your vibe really crystal clear. So here are the methods that I always suggest to connect with your higher self. Number one is meditation. This will help you tune into your inner observer, which is part of your higher self. Number two is prayer. This will help you communicate with your higher power. Number three is quiet time. And this is going to give you the space to hear the messages from your higher self. And number four is journaling, which will help you process what your inner spirit is trying to tell you. And as I promised, I want to give you a practical strategy that you can help uh, apply these tips today. So I want to give you a journal prompt. And that journal prompt is, what would trusting myself look like in my life right now? What would trusting yourself look like in this season of your life right now? And if this is all making sense to you, I want you to write manifesting in the comments below so I know. And if you have any questions, leave them below. I always try to get back to all questions and comments. So thank you guys. Okay, number three, let go of fear of being wrong. Mistakes are opportunities to evolve. Mistakes are there to help you grow into the person that you need to become to manifest what it is that you want. This means really tuning in to how you're feeling not your thoughts, but how you're feeling, your emotions, and then taking action and not ruminating. This is different than impulsivity. You thought you thoughtfully consider all the data that goes into making your decision and then prioritize how that decision is going to make you feel either way that it would go. And then act, keyword, act accordingly. Don't just stop and ruminate once you have considered all this information. I know a lot of folks that waste a lot of time getting stuck sitting on the sidelines because they don't just take the action. And it's not the same as act, acting without thinking. And it also doesn't mean avoiding taking action that brings you any type of negative emotion. For instance, you might be afraid to network with other people because you have social anxiety. But when you think about the benefit of building community, you feel inspired. So be sure to consider how you feel at large, considering everything about making that decision. And I want to share a random fact with you guys as always so we can get to know each other better. This week's random fact about me is that I am on TikTok. My username is underscore Tiffany Shelton. So leave yours below so we can connect. Okay, cheers to manifesting your dreams and maintaining happiness along the way. Until next video, namaste.